story, and uh, so this happened back in 1968. Um, I was going through a pretty trying time, uh, physical uh, and and uh, physical, mental, and spiritual too. I guess you'd say. Uh, Johnny was just two years old at the time, and um, I don't know just what happened to me, but uh, I had gotten real low in spirits and uh, just uh, couldn't eat or sleep, and just a lot of things happened to me then, and uh, a lot of it was spiritual. I, I, a lot I don't even understand today, but uh, anyway, uh, I'm just going to uh, spill my heart to you, son, and just tell you what God has done for me. Um, back in 1968, um, you, you remember your cousin Myrtle um, Aunt Norma Lee's uh, youngest daughter. Of course, Norma Jean, her sister, came and lived with y'all for a while. And by the way, I got a call from your Aunt Cooter today, and she said that Myrtle Lee's husband, Joe, passed away. He had been ill with uh, kidney failure. He'd been on a dialysis machine for some time. And he was about 60, but um, anyway, you know, she married two husbands. She will have married two husbands. Um, but this one, Joe Keyes was his name, and uh, they're going to ship his body or take his body to Georgia. That's where his, his people were from, and I guess his family. And uh, But anyway, so remember her in prayer um, during this time. But Nora, uh, Myrtle Lee was married to Ronnie Book at the time, and they lived in Alexandria, Louisiana at the time. So we had made it up that we would meet them at False River. That's... Um, Oh, a river on up the road here about, um, oh, I don't know, about 40 miles, 40, 50 miles from here. Doesn't take too long to get there. A lot of people have camps up there, you know. A lot of people live in town here in Baton Rouge, and they'll have a, oh, a summer home or a weekend home, and they call them camps around here. They go up and fish and boat and what have you. So, and at that time, Ronnie had a, a nice big boat, and they did a lot of uh, water skiing. And uh, so, anyway, Ned and me, and, and uh, we made it up that uh, Myrtle Lee and Ronnie, and of course, they had their little girl, Twyla Gale. By the way, she uh, lives in Texas, married and everything, doing all right, and teaching school, I think, Twyla Gale is. And so, um, said so we'd meet up there uh, one weekend and just, uh, oh, just have a, just meet and fellowship and have a good time. And, they were going to bring their, their big, his big boat, and the, and the kids would water ski. Of course, uh, Judy and, and Jim and Tommy. Tommy didn't make it up there that weekend. He was uh, working or something. He didn't make it up there. But uh, Judy and Jim and all of them did. But anyhow, um, I, I was just not feeling real good. Johnny, as I said, was my baby. He was just two years old. And so um, we packed up and went on up there and met with them and had a good time. And... Got us nice cabins and all, and so um, the next day um, we, um, you know, they all was uh, skiing and all, and so everybody had been in the boat but um, Johnny and me. So Ronnie said, um, Aunt Brown May said, uh, I want you and Johnny. We need to, we need to take y'all for a ride. I said okay. So they fixed, put life jackets on us, and away we went up the river in this uh, speedboat and so Johnny got scared and he started crying and I put my arm around him I had my arms around him but I just hovered over him and I said oh honey it's okay it's okay I said uh, God, God loves you the, Jesus is here with us I said don't worry about it honey I said everything's gonna be all right and I was just hugging him and loving on him and, and I began to pray and um, Stan, I was caught up in a spiritual world. That's all I can tell you is I, I transcended from this world. Um, and I looked on both sides of the river, and I could see people over there, but I thought I was in heaven. Um, oh, it was the most glorious feeling, the most glorious place I have ever been. And I hope I can tell you without crying. Stan, this, this happened back in 1968, so you know how long ago it's been. It's been, here it is, 1993, but 
usually when I tell this, the Spirit of God just moves on me so strong. And um, so anyway, it, it was just glorious. And I, I, on up the river, there was Ronnie and Johnny and me in this boat now. And then it started, well, anyway, I could see the brightest light of, it looked like it was like in a cove. It looked, you know, it looked like you could go around a bend and you'd see this bright light up there. And I knew it was the Lord, son. I knew that if I kept on going, that I'd see God face to face. I knew I would. And, um, and I, I could see this bright, bright light. And it was just, and, and then it started raining. And I felt like the Lord just literally baptized all of us right there. And so, and I just, oh, it was heavenly. And I was speaking in tongues, speaking another language. You know what that is. And when I came, you know, I came back to my senses and I was just praising the Lord and magnifying him. And I can remember praying for your mother and you, your family. You know, I remembered, I remembered that in that boat that day. I told your mother about that the other day. And I said, oh, this is wonderful. And I looked at Ronnie, you know, when I uh, came back to, uh, to realizing that I was in, still in this boat. And he, uh, I said, oh, Ronnie, have you been here before? And I thought he saw what I saw. But you see, I saw I was in a spirit realm. I was uh, caught up in a spiritual realm. And, um, and of course, he didn't see. He said, uh, no, he said, um, I said, have you been here before? Have you experienced this? He said, yes. He said, uh, but Aunt Burley, for some of us, it's too hard. We can't live it. it we just can't. Of course, he, he had at one time walked with the Lord. What I mean, he and, he and Myrtle Lee was saved, and they went to church all the time, and, and they, uh, you know, uh, lived for God. They, they were born again believers in the Lord Jesus and and they um, lived their life accordingly but he was in a backslidden condition and uh, I, he said but for some of us it's too hard to live it and I said oh but Ronnie once you've been here there's nothing to go back to I said this is utopia I said there's nothing back there I said this this is it and he, and he said, we've got to go back, you know, go back to the, the pier. And I said, oh, no, let's keep going on. Let's go on. He said, no. He said, they'll get worried about us. And, you know, and he was right. He said, we need to. And I, but anyway, he turned around in the middle of the river and came back to the wharf. And I, when we were coming back, I was laughing and rejoicing. And I said, oh, they're going to know that something happened. They're going to know that something happened to us out there, you know. But, of course, they didn't sense it. They didn't see it. But, uh, anyway, I, I was caught up in a spirit realm. And that's what I would love for you to paint, if you can, whatever you feel uh, drawn to paint from what I've just explained to you and just shared with you. Um, I, I just remember seeing, uh, I was going down that river with us in that boat and on either side of us was heaven i could see on either side of the river but and i could see people it looked like just ordinary things going on it seemed like i saw a woman hanging up clothes um but it was uh, i was in another dimension is all i can say and it was wonderful and that bright light and it was like if we went around a bend around there was a cove up there and this bright, bright light, and yet it wasn't the sun. Um, I, I, I really don't, can't understand it that much myself. I've, been, I've experienced some things like that in my life. And uh, now if you'll hold on a minute, I'll, I'll go and see what my dimensions are. I, I'm not real sure, but I think it's 30 by 55, but I'll cut this off and I'll go see. It's uh, 30 by 66, honey. 30 by 66. Uh, if you if you're painting it big, you know, to, to frame it, I have a, a big frame that's that size that, um, you know, would fit in that frame. Um, 
And I, I guess you, of course, you, you remember that Ronnie Book was killed. Uh, that was Myrtle Lee's husband that was in the boat with me. He was killed in an 18 wheeler, real freaky accident when he was 28 years old. And it wasn't too long after that 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 happened. And I pray to God that he made it right with God before he went out into eternity. Um, I'm going to try to record something for you, and I don't know if what it's going to sound like, but I'm going to sing a song, and, and uh, so I'm going to, uh, I, I want you to, I just want to send it to you. Hold on a minute. I want to sing 